Many of us have seen those hazy skies this summer with smoke drifting down from the Canadian wildfires. We know pollution like that can cause serious health effects for people with heart and lung disease. And now we're learning it might also increase the risk of anxiety and depression, even dementia. Smoke from Canadian wildfires drifting hundreds of miles away. The smoke is so bad out here, we can't even see the sun. Leaving a smoky haze over American cities like Pittsburgh and others in the northern U.S. Wow, and you can smell it too. We know pollution like that can be bad for your heart and lungs. I couldn't breathe. I feel like I was like, <gasps> like that. Now, growing evidence shows it can impact your brain too. A systematic review of more than 100 studies on pollution and its impact on the brain found 73% of the studies showed increased depression and anxiety symptoms when exposed to higher levels of air pollution. When you saw that number, what was your reaction? I, I mean, I was shocked to see that it was, it was quite that high. Behavioral neuroscientist Dr. Clara Zundel with Wayne State University is lead author of the review and says the impact was found both short-term and long-term after exposure. Elevations in reported mental health symptoms that day following air pollution, they report feeling more anxious or depressed that day. Their risk for getting a diagnosis of anxiety or depression goes up. Other studies, like this review from the Harvard School of Public Health, also show pollution is associated with a higher risk of dementia. What we really think is that air pollution, you know, affects the brain when it's most vulnerable. So when the brain is actively developing, so from infancy through adolescence, or when the brain is also aging as well. So the biggest impact for this is looking to be with the very young and the elderly. Mm -hmm. Yes, prefrontal cortex. Brain scans provided insight on what could be happening. The particles would enter the nasal stream here, and because they're so small, it's able to pass through the blood-brain barrier and go directly into brain tissue. Zundel says scientists are seeing actual structural changes to some parts of the brain, including shrinkage and inflammation in the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and amygdala, key regions associated with stress and emotion regulation. The brain's reaction to those particles are what really causes um, some damage there. A look at the American Lung Association's most polluted city shows six out of the top ten are in California, coping with the additional impact of wildfires. With the wildfires right. drifting down here with the smoke from Canada, do we have to be worried about that? Yeah, I think everyone should be worried about their personal level of air pollution exposure. Top causes for air pollution include vehicle emissions, residential heating, manufacturing and power generation, and chemical production fumes. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Dr. Zundel says, first, get an air quality app on your phone and check it every day, just like the weather app, before you go outdoors. If the air quality is poor, you might want to reconsider outdoor activities like exercise and sports. But if you do have to go outside, yep, you might want to consider wearing one of these, those KN95 masks from the COVID days to help filter out the particulate matter so you're not breathing it in. Little things can potentially help. Are you going to try to take some precautions? 100%. For the first time since 2012, the Environmental Protection Agency is proposing to reduce the standard for acceptable levels of particle matter in the air, citing growing scientific evidence of harm they can cause. The new guidelines were announced in January and are awaiting final approval. For Spotlight on America, I'm Angie Moreski. Hi, I'm National Investigative Correspondent Angie Moreski. Thanks for watching Spotlight on America on YouTube. If you enjoy our investigative reports, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you have a tip for a future investigation, we want to hear from you. Just send your idea to spotlight at sbgtv.com. And we'll see you next time.